This is Matt for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined by the first time by Frankie Davy. Frankie, a lot of fighters have been in today. Um, managed to just catch you. You've only been in this gym, I believe, since July, you said, correct? Yeah, 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 since July. How have you found being down here training with the likes of Lee Wiley, Bazza and Ben? It's brilliant. No, I mean, that, I mean, brilliant sort of encapsulates it enough, but being alongside, I mean, my first week in the gym, I sparred Billy Joe Saunders for, I think we did 20 rounds over the course of 10 days. And, you know, I'm training alongside Chris Congo. I've done rounds with him as well. Um, obviously, Ben oversees things. We've got Barry, world-class trainers, world-class fighters, and I truly believe you're a product of your environment. So for me, I want to be a world champion. I want to be a champion. Uh, so this is the perfect place for me to be. Let's just rewind that a minute. Um, I wasn't expecting to see him today, but we have seen Billy Joe make yeah, an appearance yeah, yeah, in the gym. Yeah. Um, God will him up for we see him come back in the ring. Brilliant fighter. What's that been like, sparring him, sharing the ring with him? He's been through everything and yeah. he's a world-class boxer. What was it like? It was an experience, to say the least. Like It was sprung on me in my first week. <laughs> I did six rounds of him. Oh, was it, it might have been eight. Yeah, six or eight rounds. You know, My first, first week in a brand new gym. And it was being watched by everyone. There was Pat McCormack there, Luke McCormack. Everyone round the ring, like yeah, proper yeah, doghouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, uh, his manager was there, Tom. Big up to Tom, I like him. We're good mates. Uh, and yeah, and I think I'm sparring him tomorrow as well. So, oh, yeah. so yeah, it's, what, what time? It's, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm hoping 11, but it might be 10. So. Wow. Um, but yeah, what was that like then? Feel any pressure? Because obviously, big name, former world champion, I'm a two time world champion, and yeah. you're there going in there having a. I've been, not, I wouldn't say move round, but a spar with someone who's, uh, you know, accomplished a lot in the spot. Yeah, don't get me wrong, he wasn't, he wasn't in there to pummel me. I'm, I've only had five professional fights. He's, his last fight was against Canelo. You know, <laughs> there, is a, there is a gap in skill. Um, but he was moving round with me, working. And yeah, he was, he was throwing big shots and I was doing my best to, to do the same. He's hard to hit, obviously, as everyone knows. But being in there in the ring, doing it myself, it's, yeah, it was an experience. And one that I'm very thankful for and lucky that I get to do it again tomorrow and in the future. Absolutely. Um, you've had five fights, one, one of them a draw. Yes. Um, what did you make of that particular fight in your own words? Did you think it was a bit unfortunate? Do you think you did enough to get the victory? Uh, very unfortunate, yeah. I mean, everyone that was at the fight that day said that it was, it, I won. Um, still not really sure how it was a draw. The coach I was with at the time I've got pictures of his face. He's sort of gobsmacked. Um, everyone around the ring didn't really know what was happened, but it is what it is. I believe everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Um, that was sort of the turning point in a way for why I left my previous gym. Um, there's no hard feelings there. I just felt, felt I had to move on. Um, so for that, I think if I'd have got the win on paper, maybe I wouldn't have done what I've done now, moving to this gym with the coaches I'm with. So, as I said, I believe everything happens for a reason. Yeah. That has led me to move to this gym and then have my, or hopefully progress with the rest of my career here. Because, because you've only had a, um, a few fights, let's just say, did taking a draw almost, did it feel like you'd maybe done something wrong or as a loss? I know you watch back and you're like, it happens that you win a fight and it gets given a draw, it's boxing, yeah, we see yeah, it. Yeah. But did you feel in yourself, you're like, I feel a bit, a bit hard done by you? Yeah, I felt very hard done, but I was deflated. Uh, I didn't really know what I wanted next. I knew I'd won the fight and everyone else knew I won the fight, but for those that weren't there, you're obviously going to get the people online and saying things. And I was lucky that I didn't get too much of that, but yeah. I've got quite a large following on TikTok, a YouTube channel. Um, What's your following on TikTok? Because I didn't expect you to spring a nearly 11K YouTube channel on us. Go on. Uh, TikTok's at like two and, almost 250,000. 250,000? Team Davey. Team Davey, that's, that's the movement. And I, even that, I'm, I'm happy that I'm building a community, spreading positivity, motivational videos, giving insights of me at the gym here, which I personally believe is the best boxing gym in the country. Um, if not, it's up there in the world as well, as I said, yeah. with the likes of who I'm with, the coaches. So I believe I'm giving an inside view into a gym like this, which... Yeah. You know, it's valuable content. So, <laughs> does it feel almost like fresh again? Like you've turned a page, new chapter, because you come into a gym like this, and everyone's got their own style. From you know, going up north, where I was at Grant Smith's gym the other day. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you got Warrington's gym, you got everyone's gym, and Ben's obviously got his own ways. Him and Lee Wiley, very analytical. Have you? Do you feel like you're so, soaking up all their experience and knowledge from what they've done so far? Yeah, most definitely. As soon as I walked into the gym, 
pretty much every day, even if you walk in, you're tired, oh, I don't really want to train. Everyone, the, the gym generally has a buzz to it. And you hear a lot of fighters and a lot of coaches say, oh, the gym is buzzing. This gym is buzzing because it can't not be. Everyone's got fight days. Everyone's yeah. training hard. Uh, if you're not on it, you're going to get smashed. Uh, that's pretty much it. I've, they've put me in, in the deep end and it's up to me to like, sink or swim. Um, in terms of style, my style has changed massively. I was quite bouncy uh, before. You know, you struggle to do the rounds because you're wasting energy. Now it's the feet are more planted, uh, being efficient with my movement, little slide backs and just everything, as you said, is analytical. Lee Wiley, Ben, Barry, it all, it, they all work together and ultimately their style is, is proven. Yep. So for me, that's good enough. I'll just I'll listen to what they tell me and implement it into my game plan and in every single fight. That's, that's where I want to do. Absolutely. Now, you are back out on Elite and Card yes. uh, not too not too distant future. I think Boxing Social, we have something to do with that yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, talk to me how pleased you are to get out on a, a really good card on Lee and always puts on mm. terrific shows. Um, a lot of them 50-50 fights, genuine dust-ups so that people can get involved. Yeah. I always encourage every casual fan, if you want to watch boxing, just put, put them on because yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they are brilliant. They'll get you into boxing. Yeah. 100%. How much are you looking forward to getting back out there and showcasing your skills and what you're learning at this gym? Mm. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm very excited. I mean, to be out back to, I had my last fight at the end of November, yeah. a good break off over Christmas, ate plenty of cake, uh, four whole ones to be in fact. Um, and yeah, it's, it's good. Just getting, act, being that, sorry, getting active, the activity in the ring is, is, is key, especially at an early stage in my career. So um, yeah, I've never been on a lead in show either. We're from the same place. I'm from Ipswich, he's from Ipswich. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. I've always heard good things about Lee and shows. It's at York Hall, so at this sort of stage of my career, it's a it's a great place for a that for a fan. Is yeah, banging yeah. at York Hall. I'm hoping to bring a load of fans, a load of QPR fans, because I'm a QPR sport myself. Yeah. All my TikTok followers, you know, I want a big a big army of Team Davy there to bring the roof off, and that'll be good. 24th of February. You ever thought about now you've got this big TikTok following sliding over into that little TikTok world and sort of going a bit undercover and see if no. anyone would dive in because it'd be a big mistake. Let's be honest. Do you think if you went and tried that they'd be like, "We ain't fighting you"? Because no. obviously <laughs> you've you've got you've got the you've got the following, but you're more accomplished. It's funny. It's funny you say this because I've had a lot of comments recently, and I, I was actually speaking to my dad the other day. I said, like, "Where's all this come from?" I've got loads of comments. Just, yeah, just recently, saying, go on Misfits, fight on Misfits, which for those who don't know is KSI's promotion on DAZN. Um, and it's one of them, like with people saying it, saying about it, it does it's sort of lingering in my head saying, is, you know, is that a route? For me, I'm at, I'm at this gym, I'm, I'm, I wanted to do it the traditional route. I'm, I'm yeah. a professional boxer. Um, but ultimately, if I want to fight on a big stage, if there's, there's an opportunity and someone wants to fight me or... You know, something happens, and yeah, I'm, I'm I'm open to it. But the traditional route is the route I want to go. I want to win yeah. titles in British border boxing control. Ring you know, yeah, box. yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's not. Everyone says I fight KSI. I fight, I got I got nothing against KSI. I I truly believe I'd beat him, but and that's going to be the title, isn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's um, but yeah, I'm just doing my own thing and building my community, building my platform, and winning fights. That's the plan. Absolutely. What um, what would signify sort of a, a good year for you coming up? Is it just activity, like sort of honing in everything you're learning here? What what is a good year for you? How quickly do you want to be pushed into you know uh, titles and them sort of things? Well, I didn't have a very extensive amateur career, which yeah. people may or may not know. I had I think it was ten amateur fights. So for me, it was always a catch up game. I turned pro arguably slightly earlier than I should have, but at the time I think it was COVID and whatever. So I turned pro and for me, it's like an apprenticeship. Mm -hmm. at the gym I'm at, I believe the, the rate of progression is going to be a lot faster than if I wasn't here. Yeah. So for me, it's activity. I want at least four, five, six fights this year. Yeah. End of this year to be in and around a title level of some sort, Southern area, English, uh, and then maybe look to pick that up early next year. As well as, as I said, building the community, building the platform, I think it's key. Boxing is a business. Uh, yeah. And that's not why I'm doing it. I, I generally enjoy making content for everyone out there. Um, but it comes with it. Getting eyes on myself and, yeah, hopefully getting on a big, a big card. That's the next plan. I've 
I'm on Lee and show on February the 24th. The next thing for me and my managers talked about it already to get me on a bigger show uh, and really showcase who I am, my personality, uh, my skills in the ring, yeah. and all of that. And yeah, that's that for me is the plan. You're going to be one of these then when you do get to that stage. The trash talk will start flying, tables will start getting flipped, your crocs, the crocs, the crocs will start getting so put on display. You give me some stick for wearing these crocs, but anyone that does know me from my tickets... Show the, take them off, show, show the camera. Do you know what, I've actually got some sparkly uh, diamond FD ones as well, but I didn't wear them today. Got it, should have worn them. But to match the pink... Yeah, you've gone, you've, you've gone all coordinated, I'll give you that, pal. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's brave, but yeah, look... Um, Hopefully this will be a, a good year for you, mm. a learning year. Um, we'll be at the Lee and show, so we'll be able yeah. to catch up on that week. I'm not sure who's doing it, but one of us will catch up with you. Yeah, and yeah, um, give give all your social media platforms a shout out. I don't think they need it by the sound of it, but you may as well while you're here, bro. Yeah, it little helps. Uh, so follow me on Instagram, Frankie underscore Davy. TikTok's the same, Frankie underscore Davy. Twitter, I'm not very active on there, but I, I do plan to be. And YouTube is just my name, Frankie Davy. Oh, just quickly, I forgot to ask you, um, prediction, um, Chris Eubank Jr., um, Liam Smith, that's coming up. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, I'm going Chris Eubank Jr. to win. Yeah. Stoppage uh, points? I think because of these last few fights, the way he's been, he's adjusted his style with Roy Jones and he's, he doesn't seem as ruthless as he was before in terms of looking for the stoppage, so I only got Eubank points. But I'm a big fan of Eubank, weirdly, as, well, as I say weirdly, but you know, everyone says, oh, I like, Tyson or Floyd Mayweather. When I first started boxing, Eubank Jr. was someone I actually watched a lot of, weirdly. I don't know why, I just did. I had him on Snapchat and I used to just watch his training videos and he was pummeling the bag. And I was a 15-year-old kid and I took a lot of motivation from that. So, so yeah, there's a little something there where I want him to win and I, I believe he will. Okay, well, we'll see you in a few weeks we're there for that one. Yeah. Um, look, Frankie, appreciate your time. No, um, you hopefully we can catch up again. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers, mate.